What's up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. So today is a vlog where I'll be packing for our next trip. So we leave in a couple of days for Disney World and we, if you've been watching us a while, you know, we go to Disney a few times a year. My husband owns a travel agency. Uh, people move or travel if you're in need of one um, that specializes in Disney travel, but then we also have a Disney podcast. So we, we love Disney. We go there a lot. I'm kind of used to packing for Disney, especially like for myself, but we've got two girls. This is the first time we're taking our one and a half year old Felicity on. She's been to Disney before, but this is the first time where she'll be like able to walk and run around. She's a little more aware of what's going on. I feel like what I pack for her is different too. So to be honest, <laughs> I had a different video plan to film today and I thought I need to pack today and I need to film and I was thinking, why don't I just do them together? The video I'll film is, is a, like a packing vlog. So that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully you think that's cool. Um, I wanna thank Lumi for sponsoring a part of this video today. It is the deodorant I trust in Disney World, which says a lot. I'll talk about that here in just a second. But first, I tend to start my packing journey with a cup of coffee, which I do have. However, I might pour it over ice here in a second. And I start with my toiletries because I have a little bit of time where if I need to go to the store, I can go and get a couple travel size things that me or Tyler, my husband needs. So let's start there. Let's kind of see what we're working with. Uh, yeah, I should probably look at the girls' toiletries too. Well, please don't judge, but in our linen closet here, we this is where I keep generally my travel stuff and Tyler's travel stuff. It is always overflowing because I'm always trying out new things, but this is where I've got most of the things that I need. All right, so this is probably what I'll use for makeup. I got this on Amazon. Oh wait, no, this is what I used. That's right, for like carry-on. This is what I used for makeup on our last trip and brushes. So I'll probably use that. And then we're, there's my toiletry bag right here. This bad boy, let's see what we're working with here. So this is something I recommend ad nauseum. I obviously need to like actually pack it. This is stuff I um, keep in here, but this is on Amazon. They just launched a bunch of new colors. Oh my gosh. And I keep eyeing them, but I love this. You can fit so much. You can fit straight up full size bottles in here and it'll still close. I keep this stocked with things that I just use for travel. So I have like an extra deodorant, hairspray, brush thing, razor, etc. So I'm kind of looking through to see, I've got some skincare, right? So that, those are nice and full. We should be good. Cause we'll be there like, I wanna say six nights. My favorite dry shampoo, moisturizer I love. Um, I feel like there are a few things missing. I need a toothbrush in here. I don't think this is gonna be enough toothpaste either. It's almost gone. I need to restock my contacts. So, I also had this little thing of SPF in there. For a Disney trip, I bring a full-size SPF. This is not gonna be anywhere near enough. So that is something I definitely bring a full size of. But yeah, the rest of it's looking pretty good. I think some of these skincare things might be close to empty though. That one was straight up open. So sometimes I'll just take my full size of something and refill these little these little babies. So I think I put retinol in this little refillable thing. So as I mentioned, Lumi is sponsoring this portion of the video. So Lumi makes the deodorant that I have been using for the past year and I've really fallen in love with. I felt like I kind of bobbed around a lot of different brands. I would try a lot of different things and Especially with aluminum-free deodorant, I felt like I couldn't find anything that actually <laughs> worked. And Lumi, when I first tried them, probably like I said a year ago, I couldn't believe it. Within the first month, I tried it in a hot yoga class. <laughs> and I thought, I know I told this story, story before on my channel, but I thought for sure it wouldn't work. <laughs> like, I'm being genuine. I just didn't think it would. I was astounded because the amount you sweat in a hot yoga class is unreal and I did not have any body odor and I could not believe it. So I am a convert, I've been using it. I've been using it for our last few Disney trips as well. And if you've ever been to Disney World in Orlando, Florida, it is so hot and humid most of the year. And so you need a deodorant that works. And this is what I bring with me. As you saw, Lumi is the, I have an extra one in my toiletry bag. So the one I love is their whole body deodorant that is in their smooth solid format. That's the one I use the most. However, they also have their whole body deodorant in their invisible cream. This I've converted to a little bit because I'll get out of the shower. You just use a pea sized amount on each underarm. The amazing thing is, as I said, these are whole body deodorants. You can use them anywhere. They say pits, privates, and beyond. <laughs> 
So you, it is safe to use anywhere you need to on your body, which I think is so cool, but it controls your body odor for up to 72 hours. I find that, you know, I'll still apply it every single day just because that, that's just the way I roll with deodorant. And I think most people do. And I just don't have any issues with body odor. And I am so thankful for that because like I said, I've tried so many different deodorants and I just don't feel that most of them work on me. These are aluminum free, they're baking soda free, they're safe for sensitive skin, and I just love it. So they have a lot of different scents. I wanted to read all of them. I definitely have a few favorites. If you were thinking about trying it out and you wanted to know like where to begin. So they have minted cucumber, soft powder, toasted coconut. I love, that's probably my number one. Clean Tangerine is a close second. Peony Rose, Lavender Sage, Unscented, which I also love, and Fresh Alpine, which for the winter time, I love. The Unscented one I actually have in my bathroom. Hold on. So these are the two I keep in my bathroom. So I have their Unscented Smooth Solid Deodorant, and then I also have, this one's almost gone, their Invisible Cream in the Toasted Coconut. So I'm getting quite a collection here, but um, I love these. What is funny is when Lumi reached out to me to maybe work with them again, I had just just placed an order for two more tubes of the Lumi Unscented Smooth Solid. So I'm like, it's just so funny that I ordered that and then the next day they reached out. I'm like, yeah, I mean, this is something I love and use, so why not? So one of the things they say that the reason Lumi works better than other brands out there is because it stops odor before it starts. It works by stopping the odor causing reaction from happening on our skin. So it's kind of more like a pre-odorant versus deodorant because it's getting rid of the odor before it even starts. So I, I find that it works for me. I know a lot of you guys have said you've tried it and you love it too. Um, and I like that they have different formats. So I told you about these two. They also have their cream deodorant stick. So it's in this format, but it's a cream that comes through uh, if you prefer that format. They also have a lot of other products. I really like their deodorant wipes that you can use anywhere. That is something that is great for travel, for on the go, in your purse. Um, just having in your bathroom. I'm a big fan of those. But some other products they have, their acidified cleansing bar. They also, this is what the wipes look like, by the way. I'm actually really excited to have a restock of that. But they also have minis that you can try. I feel like this time of year, these would be really great stocking stuffers, whether you go the mini route, maybe you get some minis because you just want to try the different scents. You want to keep one in your purse. You want one for travel, which actually I am probably going to toss one of these probably the toasted coconut. <laughs> um, oh, no, maybe I'll do the clean tangerine in my travel bag because this is great. I like having both options. But guys, you can also use it on your feet. So if you have a problem with stanky feet, you can use this on your feet. I think that's fascinating. So right now until December 15th, you can save $5 off of any order over $30. If you use my code, which is brawn5, I'll have the link to use as well right there on screen in the description box. And I also usually put it in a pinned comment, the link and code. So it's a great time to try it. It'd be a great gift for anyone of all ages or just for yourself. If you have been feeling like your deodorant's just not quite working for you, you've been wanting to switch it up, I really genuinely use and love Lumi and I think you will too. And keep in mind too, they have a lot of different bundle products. So if you wanted to try different things or if you were looking for a gift, definitely check out the link below so you can peruse all of their different options for bundles, for individual products, etc. $5 off is a nice chunk and I think you guys will like it as much as I do. So thank you so much Lumi for supporting my channel and sponsoring this part of the video. Alrighty, I think we're good. I just kind of divvied in things into categories. I refilled this with my detangler I already had just so we were good to go but all of these seem pretty full got my deodorant perfume I've got some skincare that should work it is retinol that I put in this I don't remember if I actually talked about that earlier or not I usually bring a travel size of self tanner I don't know <laughs> if it, I, it's gonna be kind of not chilly but not as hot as it usually is there so if I'm not wearing shorts and stuff I might not self tan that's just kind of the way I roll so We'll see, um, but I, I'm probably gonna bring that anyway. Uh, like I said, I need to bring a bigger SPF. I'm probably not gonna bring that. Little extra things, my retainer will go in here the morning we leave, and then I always have these extra things in here, like a little sewing kit. I have safety pins, nail file, Tide pen. Um, it's for my retainer. This is like a little nail kit. This holds all my hair stuff. So some mole skin, by the way, if you need it for blisters and things from walking around, that is something we always, always bring. Okay, we're wrapping up putting everything in here. Um, I am gonna throw in these deodorant wipes because I think it's gonna be nice to have. I'm trying to remember if I brought them last time I went to Disney, but I feel like this is just gonna be when we're at home or back at the hotel midday to rest, that'll be nice to use as well. So, okay. 
good to go. So I'm in the girl's room, well, I'm in Felicity's room and I'm putting away laundry. One of the unspoken annoyances of packing when you're not just packing for yourself, but packing for others is when you're like, oh man, I've got to get this laundry done before I can pack because half the things we're going to want to bring are in the laundry. So then you're dealing with like, like for me right now, I have the energy and I'm like, re I'm in packing mode, but I'm like, I have to stop. I've got to put their laundry away because until that is folded and put away, then I can actually pack their clothes. Cause I mean, all of their jammies were dirty, like everything. <laughs> so I feel like that's one of those unspoken things that we all have to deal with when you're packing for a trip. And it's just kind of annoying. You're like, <laughs> Anyway, so I'm gonna finish folding these clothes and then get their clothes at least pulled. I have a couple of matching outfits for them. I am, <laughs> I am into it right now until Genevieve is at an age, she's our older daughter at five, until she gets to the point where she's like, I don't wanna wanna match my sister. I'm trying to enjoy it as long as I can. <laughs> So I got some cute matching outfits I'll show you guys. And of course, we're going during the Christmas season. And so it's, you know, they're all kind of festive too, which is fun. And a lot of them, I'm going to have them wear again, like back at home for Christmas festivities. So double whammy, um, but I am excited. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I always bring with young kids are placemats. Felicity's still at an age where she will throw the um, plate, if you give her a plate, onto the floor within a minute or two. <laughs> so um, these are great because we can just put the food directly on it, but they're the kind that just stick to the table and then you just throw it away. Some of these are from five years ago. <laughs> like these ones are ones we had five years ago with Genevieve. These were ones I bought recently. We are almost out of all of our packs, but they sell a million kinds of these on Amazon, which is amazing. I think we're good. I was just placing a last minute order on Amazon for a few things and I was double checking, but we're, we have plenty for this trip and we will probably work through the rest of those. The other thing I recommend if you have older kids just for fun, I mean, you could do it with any kid, but they have these placemats that stick on the table if you'd like them to. They have the sticky back that you can peel off, but you can color them. How fun, because obviously a lot of restaurants will have things for the kids to do, but not always. So I usually will have a little thing of crayons and um, a few of these in our day bag, diaper bag, whatever, both here and just at restaurants in general. So that is nice. Another thing I don't know that we're gonna need this time because Felicity would just rip it off are these disposable bibs. So we usually like at home in our regular lives use just the silicone ones, but a lot of times it's not convenient when you're at a restaurant to clean that or try to wipe it up. You might not have what you need. So it's nice to just have one you can throw away. We used these a lot when she was younger. I'm probably this time just gonna bring a silicone one and try to wipe it down again. She doesn't like wearing them, but a lot of times when you're on a trip, they're wearing like clothes that are cute because you're gonna be getting photos and whatever. And so it's nice to like try to keep them clean. So I kind of keep all of these together and I'll just pack. I'll grab a few of these for the diaper bag for the trip there, the plane ride there, but um, I'll just bring this literally in this bag and put it in the suitcase. So almost some of this laundry, I was just pairing some socks. I need to hang a few things up. I've got some of, I, I've stopped folding Genevieve's pajamas. <laughs> I used to, and that drawer would get so messy because she picks out her own jammies. And I'm like, why am I folding these? I fold everything else. I don't know why I was still folding them because they never stay that way. So I've just taken, just sticking them in the drawer and it's fine, it's just fine. <laughs> Okay, so as promised, some of the matching things I got them. These I got at Kohl's a month or two ago. They've been wearing them each week, so they're a little more worn, but very, very cute. So they have matching pants, and I'll, I got to see if I have another top for Genevieve. These we bought actually for Christmas morning type, you know, matching jammies, if you will. They're from the Little Sleepies brand, which is our favorite. They're pricey, but they're so stretchy. They can wear them for years. I have some from Genevieve from when she was three and they're just so stretchy, they still fit her, <laughs> like it's crazy. So these are adorable, I was gonna save them, but I'm like, why not wear them on the trip too and get lots and lots of use out of them? So this is the matching little kind of onesie PJ set. So these are from a site um, I've never heard of, I can link below. I saw another influencer literally with these, her name is Pixie Dusted Mom. She had her girls in these and I was like, mm, okay, well, I'm gonna need those, those are adorable. And I like that they were long sleeve because it has been a little bit chillier in the evenings there. So when we go to Jollywood nights, um, they can be wearing these. So very, very cute. And then these were from that same site too. And then these I got, was it Target? I'm not sure where, it was either Target or Kohl's, these little, dresses, which again, they've both worn already a few times, but they're gonna bring those. I think that's more than enough matching. I don't think I've ever brought this many matching things 
with us, to be honest. I think for me with kids, the name of the game, like I'll usually have a few matching outfits or cutesy outfits, I should say. Usually they're not matching. Usually I just have a few cute, more Disney specific outfits. Then beyond that, I'm just packing separates. I'm packing some shirts, some shorts or pants, depending on the time of year, um, some sweaters for sure for this trip. And Leaving it at that, I feel like I tend to overpack for them and then we just wear the same things. You can always do laundry at your hotel, especially in Disney. All of the resorts have laundry areas and usually halfway through we'll end up doing laundry anyway. So we, I just always overpack for them and I need to be better about it. So this is kind of my goal for this trip is to bring what we need, nothing more, especially when it comes to their clothes. And this is already plenty. <laughs> Okay, so this is the girls' little hanging toiletry bag that we've had for a long time. I was just double checking that we've got everything we need. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, some little hair accessories and ponytails, um, medicine in case we need it while we're there, some shampoo body wash, a little foldable brush, we've got like nail clippers and like a medicine syringe in here. That's pretty much it. I used to bring a lot more for them, but again, as Felicity gets older, it just gets easier and easier. I mean, there are certain things, these we really don't need to bring the shampoo and body wash because they could just use what's there, but we already have them and they're pretty full. So I figure might as well bring them and use them. But yeah, oh, the other thing I did want to bring up is this right here. It's a cup that has a little lid and it expands. So it can be a cup for whatever you want, but we use it for the bath time to like scoop the water and get the shampoo out of their hair. It's perfect. I love that it folds totally closed well when you have two hands <laughs> but this is one of those things that we have been using for a while now and we absolutely love so one thing we've never used that we've never brought is this slumber pod i have heard people swear by this we'll be in we've done some of the villas but we'll be in a just normal hotel room and so having a, a baby that's gonna need to nap in the middle of the day People swear by this because it gets real dark in there. It fits over just the standard pack and play. We're gonna try it. We should have plenty of room in the girl's suitcase. So I just need to get it in the suitcase, I guess. I'm kind of tempted to just <laughs> leave it in the box. It feels like it fills the whole thing, but we'll see. Okay, this is perfect. It actually came with a bag. So it all fit in the bag. It's all soft, except for there are these rods you can feel that will kind of give it its shape. But this is perfect, should fit right in here no problem that's awesome oh my gosh i'm so excited to try it okay it is the next day now so i've got the girls packed i'm working on my stuff i was looking at the weather and it really like the high is 72 i think is the warmest it's going to be maybe 75 so it's going to be a chilly chilly by florida standards trip and so i've got a lot more warm i mean just warmer clothes i'm not really bringing any shorts I might throw in a pair of like, like a skort or one pair of shorts just in case, but I just don't think even when it's 75, that's not necessarily shorts weather. Like it doesn't have to be, you know? So I do have a couple of new things though. Like I've got my jammies. I have a couple of um, things I can throw over some short sleeves, like two, like a jean jacket and then just like another corduroy kind of jacket. I'm bringing my Uniqlo packable coat. I'll show you in just a bit couple of plain long sleeves, one dressy shirt um, for a nice dinner that we might be going to, and then mostly just like Disney tops. So these are short sleeve ones I've had for a while. I got a couple new ones from Happily Ever Threads. I can link the website below. I know she just does, um, like you, she only opens her shop from time to time. So I signed up for email re reminders. So when it opened up, I shopped right away. <laughs> so let me show you the few things that I picked up. Well, Figment is one of my faves. So just one spark. I absolutely love this. I also love that these are comfort colors. Those are my favorite t-shirts. This one was just so cute. Life is grand in fantasy land. And then I got a Christmas jumbo fanny pack. How adorable is this? It's really big, which is nice. So then when we're in line, I can have... The things I would need, like my sunglasses, wallet, and phone, but then I can also have, you know, a snack or two for the girls, a pacifier, you know what I mean? Those little kinds of things you might need while you're waiting in line. So I love that this was bigger and I won't, I'll still have my backpack with me through the day, but again, when we're in line or we're just running in somewhere, I won't feel like I have to bring the entire thing. So that is adorable. Absolutely love it. I also got, I was kind of, I went crazy, okay, on this site. Um, a Disneyland one. We're going to Disneyland soon. So I thought that was really cute. And then this straw bag 
How cute is that? I don't even know if I'm necessarily going to use it on this trip, but this is just going to be something I use in general. I feel like it'd be cute in a beach bag, but I might use it to hold things like my um, sunscreen I'm going to be packing, things like that that don't necessarily fit in the toiletry bag, although that totally would. But I just want to bring it, right? Like, it's so cute. So for most other trips, I actually create outfits for this. I'm bringing separates just because I think the name of the game for this trip is going to be comfort. So I've got those t-shirts I showed you, a couple extras. Uh, this is what I think I'm going to wear to Jollywood Nights. Um, I don't remember the name of the shop I got this one from. I think I ordered it. I want to say I ordered it on Etsy, but I might I might be wrong. I'll have to look. But um, a couple of other shirts I've had. That one says Main Street USA for a while, but you never get to wear sweatshirts in Disney. So it's kind of exciting to wear all of these that I've had. I think with that for Jollywood Nights, I'm going to wear these like faux leather leggings I got from Target because this is kind of oversized. I thought that'd be kind of cute. But then I just have some jeans, leggings, and joggers. I might take out a pair or two of these jeans. I think that's too many, but... I really, like I said, I really don't think I'm going to bring, so far I haven't packed a single dress, which would be a first for me, but I, I don't think I'm going to need it. All right, so now I entered the stage of like, I've got the outfits pulled. I'm charging a few things like our Kindles, um, Genevieve's tablet and like little headphones. Uh, and I've also entered the stage of panic buying a couple things on Amazon, like same day delivery type thing. One thing I can never find, we have bought two of them and we have lost all of them. So I bought another of the things that clip on that will hold your phone to like play a video or whatever. We use it on the airplane, especially for Felicity. So I bought another one, the third one, but I do love it. I can pop a picture on the screen of what I'm talking about. It can clip on like the tray table even while it's closed and be holding your phone. But then also you can clip it on to whatever you want, you know, while you're sitting at dinner, while you're in the stroller. So it's one of those things that we definitely needed to have. So I got that. And then what else did we order? There was something else we ordered last minute. Now I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I feel like there's always at least one order on Amazon of things that you're like, crap. We have also been known to order something from Amazon and just get it delivered to the Disney hotel which is something you can do. You do have to pay like a little fee for the bell stand to accept the package or to deliver it, something like that. So just be aware of that. Sometimes it's worth it though, depending on what you're needing and you can't find it at the hotels and parks, but sometimes if it's something really small, it might not be worth it, so. But yeah, the other thing I haven't done yet is order groceries to be delivered where we always do that. I've used Amazon Fresh and I've used one of the other popular ones, water butlers maybe well that's not I don't think that one's super well known but um might try a different one every time I've tried to order bananas from anyone they are the greenest bananas you've ever seen and at no point during the trip do they ripen so it's one of those things that I'm like I have literally ordered bananas every time and we've never been able to eat a single one any of the time so I don't know we're just gonna have to figure out a new place to order from and hope that it I think if I order directly from like a store type delivery, I might be luckier in the banana department. This is important to me because I eat a banana every day. <laughs> so I like, I genuinely miss not having bananas if we don't have them. So it's a personal problem. So I started packing some of my makeup as well while I was getting ready earlier today. Um, I'm trying to get that to stay back. There we go. These are, I mean, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, you you know about all of these things. There are a lot of my favorites, Amisha BB cream. This is basically what I'm wearing today. Some powder foundation, SPF. Um, yeah, so I don't have everything I need in here, but I just kind of threw in a few things I knew I would pack. And then I've got tomorrow to kind of finish it up and then get like brushes I want to pack too. But this bag is the Allie Glines bag. She's another YouTuber. And I really liked her brush bag. You can put your brushes in there. I even put my velour puff in there. Um, that worked really well and they kind of match too, which is just cute. So another thing we were talking about is in Disney, because it rains so often, having more than one parachute, first of all, just because you're walking and if you get blisters from one, you, you got to have another option. But the other piece is if it rains and you're like, for example, I wear tennis shoes most of the time. And if it rains and they're soaked, they're usually not dry by morning if they really get drenched. So this time around, since I'm not really bringing any dressy clothes, I'm not really bringing any dressy shoes or anything. 
I'm just gonna bring two pairs of tennis shoes. I have my New Balances that I love. I just washed, although I think they got a little bit of like blue on them from something in there. I'm like, dang it. But I love these because they match pretty much anything. But then I'm also bringing my, these other Nikes. So I can kind of toggle between them. They're both neutral enough. <laughs> just fell. They're both neutral enough um, to go with pretty much anything. And then I'll just be happy. Blisters or rain, I will have two different options. Now, the other thing is we're going to be staying at the beach club and we're so excited, but we were really excited about the pool. And if the high is not super warm, we're like, dang. So we're bringing swimsuits anyway. I need to grab my flip flops, but it's just going to be a very different experience. I think most people, if you're watching this and you're packing for Disney, your experience will be so different. This is such a specific thing I know I'm dwelling on, but it's weird because I'm used to going and it being super, super hot. So I started packing this. I've got our Jollywood Nights tickets in here. Uh, they probably won't live in there this whole time, but I've got some sunblock, Turby Twist, uh, like hair towel loofah and then my jewelry will go in there this is one you can get on amazon just got my rings some disney jewelry <laughs> i'll be wearing these little bobble bar bracelets that i love that have each of the characters on each one and then some other pairs i've just gotten in disney over the years it's got little mickeys um those anyway and then up here i just have some bracelets and hoop earrings i'm just gonna wear the necklace i'm wearing I used to bring like different necklaces, but I so rarely ever change them out that I realized just have whatever necklace you have, you know? I always pack snacks in our big snack bag for the plane ride, so that's gonna happen. Some other things I got though for this trip in particular, since we're going to a Christmas party and just the whole week is gonna be Christmassy, is little light up necklaces because they sell these at the parks, but they're more expensive. This was a three pack on Amazon for pretty cheap. And then these I'm gonna use elsewhere in our house too, but they're little Christmas lights. So you just put some batteries in them and they're the little twinkle lights. I have put them on our stroller before, the Halloween ones for the Halloween party. So I figured that'll be really cute. I think these should be red and green. So I love that if you had one of those like outdoor window hotel rooms where you can decorate that, these would be perfect for that too. I don't think ours will, but yeah. So I am, oh, they even have remotes. Wow. That's pretty cool. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So I mentioned my like packable coat. This is one I've talked about a lot from Uniqlo. It's their ultralight down. It has a hood. So if it's raining, that's always nice. It's got pockets, it zips up. But let me show you how small this gets. Look at that. This is the size of my hand. It is incredible. It'll, it's, it will still squish down if you need it to, like in your suitcase, but surprisingly warm, especially if you have like a long sleeve or a sweater underneath it, perfect for this kind of a trip. So Tyler has one, I have one. I've had it for years. It washes and dries well. It's so good. <laughs> oh my love. Do you want Pete's or Starbucks? I want Pete's. I don't know, let's get weird. All right, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> um, I have to admit, <laughs> I mean, Tyler already did that. And I was like, yo, do that again. That was cute. <laughs> and then I filmed it. Okay. Uh, we're weirdos. We're weirdos. With my acting on par. It was just <clears throat> superb. Just superb. But you know what? In the Very nick smart. of time. We have like an hour left today. We're going out to like a Christmas outing with family. So we're like, all right, we have 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour to kind of finish up as much as we can. So we're gonna just, we're just gonna keep going, but the coffee, like truly nick of time. Thank you, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Other things I hadn't grabbed yet, this needs to go, my vitamins need to go in my uh, carry-on. I did, this morning we went to Target to get a few things. I had a return to make, etc. Got some toothpaste and another, I love these travel toothbrushes. So glad to have that. I need to put those with this in there and we're getting closer. So I just packed my like tech accessories. This is like a little cow pack tech bag. So I've whittled this down. I used to bring a lot more. Um, this is the best thing in the world. It is a foldable charger where you can charge your phone and your Apple watch. They also have like a trifold one I would like to get eventually where it'll charge your AirPods if you have that. So I've got that and then the cord to plug it in and then the actual brick is down here. And then I have my iPad slash MacBook charger and brick is in the in this pocket. 
And then, oh, that's for the folding charger. This is just an extra, I think, in case I needed it for anything, like charging my daughter's tablet, because that's charging right now. This is a little Kindle slash micro USB one. So really I've got it covered. A lot of these are interchangeable for various things we might bring. So that is more than enough. And then I have, I'm currently charging this, but this is the Apple, um, you know, charger. You can just stick on the back of your phone. I'm charging it. That, however, will go with me in my carry-on. And I usually have this each day in the parks in my park bag just because we use it. <laughs> it's so nice to have on and you can still use your phone to get lightning lanes or take pictures, whatever. But this is like a prized possession for sure when we travel. Okay, we have returned from the evening's festivities. I'm kind of getting everything in my suitcase. I'll link the suitcase we use and I'll show it all zipped up here in a bit, but it is the base one and I'll link the exact one we have because the size is really great. They have one that you can um, use for carry on, but we do checked luggage for like our big one. So I have one checked. The girls share a checked bag and then Tyler sometimes has a checked bag, but that's great because really most of our stuff is in there and then we just have the diaper bag and then sometimes I have yet another small carry-on just like for my Kindle, tablet, water bottle, etc. Anyway, my clothes fit in here just fine. I have already picked out my travel outfit and then I always bring at least an extra shirt in my carry-on because so much happens, especially with kids. <laughs> I've been thrown up on, spilled on. Also, I just spill coffee on myself, so having at least an extra shirt is nice. Also, lost luggage happens as well. <laughs> These all should fit fine. The only thing that's a little bit bulkier, but I, I love this and I want to bring it, is this. So I might just kind of open it and spread it out, and then no problem there. This side is going to have, I have my like undergarments in there. Um, I'll have my ears. These, pretty sure were Etsy finds. I can see if I can find the shopping link below. These are probably my favorite ears I've ever owned. They are so, just so gorgeous. They match everything. Um, and then I've had these for years and years and years. Um, Christmas ones, so I'm going to bring those with me too. But on this side, I'll just have my toiletry bag you saw earlier, my makeup bag, my extra pair of shoes. I'm trying to think what else. That's pretty much it. I'll have like my extra little bag there. That one. If I end up bringing that, because it's not very full, and I'm like, I might just not need it for this trip. So that would go on that side too. But the nice thing is I've whittled down, like I've taken out quite a few pairs of pants and shirts, um, things that I was like, yeah, I think I'll need. But as I was kind of laying things out, I was like, even though I'm bringing separates, I made a few outfits out of things. And I was like, okay, those pants there and those pants there, I none of the shirts would really go with. So it was really nice to kind of weed out a few extraneous things, but um, yeah, we're almost there. Okay, we're pretty much done. Clothes are in there. Um, I sometimes I'll put these in a separate bag to protect them. Other times I'll take my undergarments out of there and put these in the like kind of flap. So we'll see where these end up. But the only things that aren't in here is I didn't finish packing my makeup. I'll do that in the morning um, and my brushes, but that's where those will live. I think I have like two more things to put in here. I mean, that's everything else. I got my coat, my hat and gloves, baseball cap, the little Mickey on it. All my random miscellaneous things fit in that bag really nicely. I've got my extra shoes. If I ever find my flip flops, those are gonna go in here, but back my uh, suitcase, I would say is done. All right, next step, we got our snack bag packed. This is just kind of to last us through the day too, because we're gonna be getting in very early in the morning. And usually the room is not ready for a while and we've got a one-year-old and a five-year-old. Five-year-old's picky. The one-year-old is picky on some days and will eat everything on other days. So we just never know. Uh, so we've got some bars, some little fruit things, some crackers, yogurt things we got at Target. And then a few like applesauce pouches and then like kind of classic pouch things. These I have in this separate bag because they're technically liquid. So in case we need to, you know, have them separate, it's always nice. One thing I've also done before is just had these in here, but I just had an empty quart size bag. So if they needed me to prove, I don't know, I could put it in there. I've never had to, but I figure, I don't know. I just separated it today to make life easier. All right, the girls one is done. One thing um, is like bringing rain covers for your stroller. It's definitely gonna rain while we're there. So we've got those. And then we bring our double stroller and we have had... Uh, one of these that we left on it and when they gate check the stroller it broke <laughs> so we've learned to just take these off 
pack them and then we can pop them on and then there's no chance of them breaking. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I have a few surprises I got Genevieve and the girls um, that I am gonna bring into the room. So I'm kind of hiding it. <laughs> they're usually like really small. I got this pack of like really cheap little coloring books, but they're tiny and it was like a pack of like 20. So I have a few in our restaurant, like in our um, diaper bag. I've got a few in here for in the room, but they're perfect because they take up like no room and it's just, she loves to color. So I'm gonna zip this up. We're, we're done here with the kids, yay. Also, it's a new day. <laughs> I think this little toy is gonna turn on if I put it in their suitcase. So I am just gonna have this in one of our carry-ons. So I've got my carry-on here. This is the cow pack duffel. I haven't really packed it. I mean, there's not much that goes in here. I've done some trips where I just fit what I need in the diaper bag, but I think this might be a trip where it might be nice to have extra room because we are bringing some jackets that I'm gonna carry with me, my own jacket. So it's things that I wouldn't normally bring, but I've got my travel outfit I need to take out of here. But usually I have a sweater in here. I just put whatever purse I'm carrying. I usually just toss it in there. My Kindle, my AirPods, my, um, I don't know, like lip balm and stuff. It's pretty simple, but it is nice to have a little extra room. And plus then on the way home, if we have any souvenirs, we usually buy like a coffee mug. I have room to put it in here and have with me so it doesn't get broken in the check luggage. So this will just have to go in here. It's, it's so cute. So this is the diaper bag we use in Disney. I love it. I've owned a few different kinds. This is my favorite. It's the perfect size. Right now it's full to the brim um, with stuff for the airport, but then I'll kind of switch out some things for the parks once we're actually in the hotel. But the, you, there's plenty of room for, you know, water cups, bottles, whatever you use. There's plenty of pockets. I like that there's some quick grab pockets here. Um, and then plenty of room inside. Right now I just kind of stuffed stuff in there last night. The snacks, which again, this honestly will probably move to my checked bag but I've got like some snacks ready to go in a snack cup I've got our little liquids bag um our restaurant bag if you will so I've got the placemats I mentioned a bib a fork and spoon some crayons to color with and then in the back I actually have some of those coloring books I mentioned uh just a few of those in there I've got this is one of the things they're both getting one of these. She's like right in the other room, so I'm trying to be secretive. Some extra diapers, extra clothes down there, medicines we may need, like band-aids. That's pretty much it. Okay, I think we are wrapping this up. We are done. A few things in the morning at like three in the morning when we're waking up, <laughs> we'll be tossing in. I usually just write that stuff on a post-it note, um, literally to remind myself like, okay, don't forget to grab your Kindle. Like I'll be reading it tonight. Don't forget to grab your Kindle. XYZ. That is really nice though because then I've used my packing list to create this like day of list to be able to cross it off and feel that for sure I didn't forget any of those last minute items. So that's a good feeling. So we will have Tyler's suitcase as well. He has not quite finished packing. I know he's gathered a lot of his stuff but this is this is it. So Genevieve will carry that bag. I will um, we'll check those and I will carry those two. We'll have the stroller with us most of the time. So I'll, I usually just stick one under and then one hanging on it. So it works out pretty well. And then we just gate check the stroller. So again, thanks to Lumi for sponsoring a part of this video. If you want to check Lumi out, I love, love their products and their deodorants and their deodorant wipes, which I really am glad I packed because even though it's not going to be super hot while we're there, I just feel like when you're dealing with kids and like, lifting them, holding them, you're sweating anyway. So I'm gonna be really glad to have those with me. But again, if you want to check out Lumi, you can get $5 off when you spend $30 by using my code, which is brawn5. I will have the link to use as well right in the description box for you and in a pinned comment. And thank you guys for watching to the end. If you want to catch our Disney vlogs, those will be on my husband, Tyler's channel. Just search Tyler Braun. That's where those will go probably in January. Once we're back from this trip, by the time you're seeing this, we will definitely be back. Um, we're in the middle of Vlogmas. So we are vlogging every single day in December. And those are also on Tyler's channel. So if you want to check those out, that is where a lot of our energy is going in the month of December as it goes every month. So I'd love to see you guys over there too. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.